Here's a video of my very messy sump. Set this tank up in uh, end of June. And soon after I discovered I had flatworms, I've been just uh, devoting all the time that I have to trying to fix the flatworm situation. So basically what I've got here is uh, I've got my controller, the apex on the left here. You see all these wires on the ground. It's all connected, but I um, haven't had a chance to, to organize it. Cap blast the reactor there, uh, right in the middle, connected to a spectra pier uh, top off. Got my uh, GHL doser there with a three chamber. I think they're a gallon each of top off. I'm only doing two part right now. I'm not doing any magnesium for now. Um, got a Deltic 1455 skimmer there. I'm using a BRS uh, media reactor for the GFO and some zeo zeolite rocks and uh, carbon in there. See, the sump is, I think, 40 inches, so it takes up almost my entire uh, stand area. First chamber, I've got the, the Delta uh, skimmer. I think it works pretty well. Kind of flows into here. The space isn't well used. Got this, uh, just a frag rack section that I could use, but right now just water. Uh, I've got two, uh, the return pump is right in the back and then and then the, the, the media reactors are fed through, through the pipes here. And then that's a, a liter meter for my daily water water change. Um, this is supposed to be a top off chamber, but I've kind of just filled it with salt water. Not very good use of this space, so I might figure out a different way in the future. But there you have it, my messy sump. Um, tank is doing okay right now. All the fish are are healthy. Started to move some of my frags and pieces to to my other tank that I've been setting up, but haven't lost anything from the flat warm. Uh, recent dips, I haven't gotten any any warm, so that's good. Until next time.